Stand by. Total time, five, five, three. All good hits. YouTube, what is going on? I'm sorry I've been MIA. I apologize. Uh, I appreciate all of the DMs, the emails, the messages about wanting the vlogs to come back. Your support is greatly appreciated. Promise you the vlog will eventually come back. But right now our main focus is getting orders out. So I'll do a whole other video explaining all of that. Today though, I wanted to share something that I've been waiting for for over a year. It's finally here. CZ P10F. A couple years back when CZ initially released the P10C, their striker fire gun, I immediately went out and picked one up, got to the range, loved it. The trigger, the ergonomics, everything about the gun made it my everyday carry. After the release of the P10C, CZ had made mention of a full size and a subcompact version uh, coming out in the near future. Well, first quarter 2019 has finally come and they are out. Um, I'm waiting on the P10S, which is a subcompact, and the new P10C. Uh, that way I can get those and add those to the lineup. I wanted to make this video a quick five minute rundown, going over all of the stuff I like about the gun, a few questions that I have for CZ, and hopefully they'll get answered in the next couple weeks at SHOT Show, and kind of give you guys an initial impression on what you can expect if you go to your local gun store and pick this one up. So let's talk about the trigger. First off, awesome, just like the original P10C. There's the take up, the wall, the brake, that reset, nice, crisp, audible, tactile, you can feel it. And again, that take up, that short, short reset. And staying in line with the original P10C lineup, the ergonomics, the front serrations, rear serrations, ambidextrous slide stop, all that stuff has stayed the same, which are all great features that I like. The P10F has an additional rail slot. Um, on the new P10 series, they have removed the ambidextrous magazine release. It is now uh, only on one side, however you can switch it, if it's my understanding. They have the different adjustable back straps as before. They also now ship with a front tritium night sight and blacked out rear sights. My favorite new feature that the P10 lineup has is the OR versions, which are the optic ready versions. Um, I'm a fan of optic cuts coming from the factory, much like uh, Glock doing the MOS versions. Um, so, however, I do have a few questions about it and we'll get to that in a minute. A couple other cool things about the new uh, P10F, the magazines. Um, just how the P10C could use P07 mags, the same holds true for P09 and the P10F. This is the magazine that came with the P10F, you get two of them, and this is a magazine for P09 that I picked up from my local gun store before going to the range. Identical followers, same 19 round count, yep, 19, that means if you get a plus two, you got 21 in the mag, one in the chamber, you got 22 rounds, I think that's pretty cool. Same base plate, same markings, same magazine. Recoil mitigation is awesome with this. Um, just like the P10C, the beaver tail, the back strap, whatever you want to call it, allows your hand to get so high up in there that you can mitigate the recoil uh, very easy. The gun's extremely flat shooting. Um, it returns right back to zero and lets you fire off the next round. I purchased the optics ready version because I like the optic cut coming from the factory. However, much like MOS, you have to have uh, optic, the correct optics plate for whatever optic you're running. CZ has stated that they're gonna offer the Trigicon RMR and the Leupold Delta Point Pro. I have a Delta Point on order. However, for the life of me, I cannot find the mounting plates anywhere. Um, so I'm curious to know where you can get them. I've checked their website, the CZ custom website. I've checked all over online. They don't seem to be available. So I'm curious to know how much that plate's gonna cost. In addition to that, I'm curious to know how much the sites to co-witness with that optic are gonna cost. Um, I do believe the OR version is about $100 more than the standard version, so I'm just curious to know what that price point looks like after you get the gun full, uh, fully up and running with, the, with an optic. I do like how Glock sends you every mounting plate for every compatible optic when you purchase the MOS version. I do wish that CZ followed suit with that. After posting a couple videos on Instagram, we got a couple questions that I want to address. Uh, one being the slide stop or slide release, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people complain that it's super hard to push down on. Um, I notice a lot of people that they're trying to drop the slide on an empty magazine. The magazine has this built-in orange follower. There's a lot of tension in that spring. That follower is designed to put a lot of tension in an upward motion on that slide stop to lock the slide back when the gun's empty. 
So yes, if you're pushing down on an empty magazine, it's going to be difficult. It's still possible, but it is difficult. Opposed to, if you have a magazine with ammunition and you load it in, that slide stop is super easy to drop. So, if you're finding yourself having issues, make sure you're not trying to drop that slide on empty magazine. Other people were asking about the uh, bump loading. Uh, what this is, some guns that I've been told, um, like Beretta, m and are designed that when you hit the gun and the mag, uh, the mag plate on a 45 degree, it bumps the slide forward on its own. Um, this gun is the first gun I've ever had that does it consistently. So yes, it does do it. A couple other questions we got were regarding holster options. Um, the holster you guys saw me running in the video is my RDS uh, ALS Sapphire Line holster. It's actually made for my Glock 34 with a Surefire X300 uh, weapon light. However, when you attach the X300 to the CZ P10F, it fits in no problem um, as you guys saw in the video. The retention device works great. The ALS locks on the ejection port just as it does with my Glock and keeps the firearm nice and secured. Some people start asking about a holster without a weapon light. Um, so here's the Fireland ALS for my Glock 17. It does not fit. That light channel that's created for the Surefire X300 light is what makes it possible because it widens the holster and allows the entire gun to go in because of that light channel. As you guys can see, there's a pretty huge light channel. So just know that when some people are out there saying this gun fits this and it fits that, honestly the best way to figure out is to test it yourself or ask somebody that has it. But yeah guys, that's my quick five minute rundown. Uh, I'm definitely a fan of the CZ P10 lineup. I will be purchasing all of them. Uh, I definitely recommend if you are looking for a striker fired gun that you give it consideration because to me it is definitely one of the best ones out of the box. As always, I appreciate the support. Thanks for checking out the video and more videos will come, I promise. Thank you. Yeah, leave those skinny ones out here.